What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I just got back from the Bollinger event where they revealed their B1 and B2 four-door vehicles to the world and it was a very small intimate group of, of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of employees, and a small group of, of quote, media. I say that because I, I don't consider myself a, a media person. I'm just a guy who's documenting his journey of learning about electric vehicles. But with that said, I wanna jump into why I think these vehicles are the anti-Tesla EVs, and not in a bad way, but in a really, really good way. These vehicles are simplistic, analog in Spartan, where Tesla would fall on one end of the design spectrum and Rivian in the middle, Bollinger is at the complete opposite end, and that's completely okay with me. Even Bollinger knows that this will not be a high volume production car as they will be making these vehicles literally by hand, which is a part of the allure for me. It is literally analog everything. It's analog sliding windows, gauge cluster, dials, doors, and it couldn't be more beautiful. It's like if the Mercedes G-Wagon and Land Rover Defender had an all-electric baby. And it's important to realize that this is not an efficient aerodynamic vehicle like what we're used to seeing with Tesla. This is a retro boxy, it's, it's a nod to the mid-century 50s and 60s style car, but with an electric twist on it. These vehicles will have dual motor, 120 kilowatt battery packs, around a 200 mile range, CCS SAE combo charging, it will have 614 horsepower, 668 pound-feet of torque, a zero to 60 time of 4.5 seconds, and a top speed of 100 miles per hour. It'll have a 7.8 power weight ratio, two speed high low range gearbox, 15 inch ground clearance, 10 inch wheel travel. The payload for this thing will be 5,200 pounds. Towing capacity will be 7,500 pounds. It'll have gear axle hubs, 11.75 inch vented brakes, four wheel anti-lock inboard discs, and patented storage pass-through. And what I really love about what Bollinger is doing is that they're not doing their own twist on an existing electric vehicle. They're doing their complete own thing. It's boxy, it's retro, it's analog, and they're unapologetic about it. So this is not going to be your most efficient range electric vehicle, but it will be very capable off-road. It will be very capable as a second vehicle or maybe a first vehicle where you're not driving a whole lot, but I suspect that this will be a vehicle that outdoors people and four by four people will take into the wilderness because of its capabilities. The range will limit prospective buyers, but if you're taking this vehicle into the off-road and going slow speeds, 200 miles should be plenty and you very likely will get more range because you are going slower speeds. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with what Bollinger has come up with. I've now met a few of their team members, including their CEO. I actually sat down with Robert Bollinger earlier this year and did a one-on-one -on -one interview. I'll link that up in the video description. And I just think that they're a humble group and they're really interested in making a high quality vehicle. When I say that they're handmade, this is handmade with custom intent. So you're not going to see this company produce hundreds of thousands or millions of vehicles over the course of their production life. They are going to produce these one by one, handmade, and that's completely okay with me. There definitely is a place for Bollinger in the electric vehicle market, and I'm so glad that Robert Bollinger has taken the risk of investing his own wealth and fortune to see these products come to fruition. So a huge thank you to Bollinger for the invite to this event. It's really cool to see this product finally make it to the public. And I think we'll know more about pricing as well as production time in the next couple of months, they say, as well as I pressed them earlier this evening on who they're using for their battery cells and they're still narrowing that down. So I suspect that we should also hear something about that shortly. This is Sean Mitchell, All Things EV. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you're a regular, what are you waiting for? Just hit the like button and I'll see everyone on the next video.